friends we have seen from our other videos that darwin's theory of evolution which was considered to be the basis of life on earth is no longer valid just as it was proposed that all of this life on earth has come about by a matter of chance combination of chemicals similarly it was also proposed by the western scientists that this entire universe has come up as a result of chance as a matter of chance so friends let us go a little deeper into this friends there are billions of people on this earth but you know that life of each and every individual on this earth is different no two individuals have exactly the same life pattern this is a fact you also know that despite all the efforts of an individual his life does not take the course that the person plans for there are always certain wants and wishes pending in the life to be fulfilled although every person tries his best or her best to do so this occurs in the life of almost every individual this means that a person's life is not exactly under his own control alone so what exactly is this system of control we need to look into this friends as we all know this earth does not exist on its own in this universe numerous galaxies constellations and planets accompany the earth we all know these facts we all know the law of gravity which is true universally the movement of earth around the sun determines the time system that exists on earth without the movement of earth around the sun we shall lose lose track of time thus it is important aspect that controls life on earth This is in addition to the fact that it is the sun which gives earth's entire energy needs directly or indirectly. Another very important aspect is that there are planets which are moving around the sun along with the earth and if it was just a matter of creating a cycle of day and night then just the movement of earth alone around the sun would have been sufficient but along with earth there is also moon and eight other planets and 12 constellations star constellations their existence is not without a reason or coincidence they all definitely have a purpose how they influence the earth and the humans maybe by way of varying degree of gravitational pull or maybe because of some other reason we do not know but definitely they exert influence on the life of people on earth scientific studies have been conducted many decades back in the 1960s and they all confirm that definitely planets and constellations do determine the course of lives of individuals both scientific and astrological researchers have started to acknowledge the fact that there is a genuine connection between celestial bodies and human life and these statistically significant findings have been published in peer reviewed journals friends ironically some of the most important evidence has come from experiments and those by skeptical groups 
like CSI Corp. I would like to mention the research of Vernon Clark. Psychologist Vernon Clark conducted a series of scientific studies between 1959 and 1970. He involved 50 professional astrologers and 20 other psychologists and social workers in the control group. Birth charts of 10 different individuals were provided to these groups. When the astrologers' predictions were compared with the actual lives of the 10 individuals, it was found that correlations were accurate up to 65%. In other words, astrologers' predictions based on the birth charts were accurate up to 65%. Another example of research is the data collected by Gokulin. Gokulin collected data on more than 20,000 professional personalities from various European countries and the USA. Gokulin's research revealed statistically unusual occurrences of celestial bodies such as Mars at birth for athletes, Jupiter for actors, Saturn for scientists, and Moon for writers. Their studies corroborated an ancient claim in astrology that planets situated around the four angles of the birth chart are more powerful and their influences are prominently manifested in individuals. Naturally, Gokulin studies attracted significant controversy. They allowed independent skeptical researchers to examine their original data. Rational scientists from Belgian LERRCP, American CSI Corp, and French CFEPP committees reviewed Gokulin's findings and independently validated them. CSI Corp published their results in the Humanis magazine journal. The Belgian group, in hopes of finding a rational explanation, for their positive results, spent eight years in a futile attempt to publish their study. The French took a whole of 14 years, and in the end, the group was dissolved, and the work was completed by Jan Willem Ninhais from the Netherlands. All groups made their data available, but publishing the complete data was accomplished by the Netherlands. Friends, these and many more such experiments were conducted by Western scientists and all endorse that the planets and constellations do have an effect upon the lives of individuals or not. Friends, each human being as an individual goes through a different life pattern. This is because each human being is born in a different set of planetary positions. If we consider the place, the date, and the time for the person at the moment of birth, it gives us a unique set of parameters. These three parameters separate each and every individual on this earth, and thus are very important. A person's life pattern is decided at the moment he or she takes birth. The position of constellations and planets at the moment of birth, when the person takes first breath, determine what his life is going to be. Friends, there are 12 constellations. These are further divided into 27 nakshatras. The Rashis and nakshatras are fixed for a person, while the planets are moving all the time during the lifetime of the person. Friends, note that just as we see the sun and moon rising every day from the east, each of these nakshatras and planets also rise from the east at different times, but in a definite sequence and cycle. Maybe they are not visible to us. 
And just like every day the time of sunrise is different, similarly the time of rise of each of these nakshatras and planets is different. There is a particular position of nakshatras and planets at the moment a birth take place. That determines the life of an individual. Therefore, the knowledge of the birth time, birth date, and the birth place, because the position of rise of nakshatras and planets also depends upon the place a person is born. These three are the most important parameters determining a person's birth chart. All major aspects of a person's life are determined by the birth chart, such as physical characteristics, career, wealth, marriage, and also the death. These three parameters are very important for any person that no matter what happens, these parameters cannot be changed once a person is born. I would like to specifically point out that there are two existing systems of fi fixing birth signs of a person popular in the world today. The first is the English system and the second is the Indian system of fixing birth signs. These two systems are basically totally different. The English system broadly divides one full year into 12 birth signs. Thus broadly people being born during one particular month of the year according to western astrology have similar life pattern. But in the case of Indian system one full lunar day is divided into 12 birth signs. Thus a person being born on any particular day may have his birth sign depending upon the exact time the person is born. Thus the Indian system is much more precise than the English system. Today these two systems have been totally mixed up by so many astrologers and therefore their predictions are not accurate and precise. French Indian astrology has set out particular alphabets so that a person born in a particular nakshatra is named according to a particular alphabet, Hindi alphabet. Thus by just knowing the name of the person, a broad conclusion can be drawn as to the various traits of that person. Some people erroneously believe that the birth sign is determined by the name of the person. This will mean that if a person changes his name, his birth sign and horoscope will change. This is incorrect and an erroneous belief. On the other hand, first alphabet in Hindi language of the name is determined by the horoscope of that person and not the other way around. This is also logical as no matter what, nobody can change the time, date and place of a person's birth after a person is born. Friends, it is also very important to note that horoscope is fixed, but its interpretation varies from person to person, depending upon the amount of knowledge that person is having in reading the horoscope. Wrong interpretations and conclusions from the horoscopes do not mean that the science is incorrect. For many, the predictions go wrong is because there have been some shortcoming in the interpreting of the particular horoscope. The sciences are eternal and cannot be wrong. Lack of understanding of the sciences may result in weaker interpretations. Friends of birth time, birth date, and birth place broadly determine a person's life. There are various short term and long term lows and highs in a person's life. The examples are 
not difficult to find there are highly knowledgeable and talented person spend their life in penury in poverty or a person from very ordinary backgrounds rises to positions of eminence when a person achieves or loses in his life time is determined broadly by the horoscope friend what is indicated by the horoscope of a person can also be termed as the person's fate or the person's destiny this destiny is determined when a person is born this is determined by the god on the basis of the karma of the person's past life or lives i would say accumulated karma of the person from the past life or lives now comes the most important part of this discussion that there is one trait that only humans have and this trait is the power of thought and action this differentiates a human being from animals animals also think and act but their thinking and acting is limited to food safety and procreation human beings are given this power to think and decide for themselves as to what is right or what is wrong and to take a decision accordingly human beings have the power to give a direction to their lives this direction can be given on the basis of the practices as specified in the ancient indian scriptures if the practices are followed a person can definitely change the course of his life for the better and this is applicable not for one particular community it is applicable for all the communities of the world all the human beings of the world all the person's fate has been determined at the time of birth there is nothing in the world there is no power in the world that can change it friends know that it is only the techniques in the ancient indian sciences sciences using which a person can bypass or reduce the effect of bad times or even enhance the effects of good times in his life this is one of the major uses of the powers of sanatan dharma and its real practices using which a person can change the course of his or her destiny this is the knowledge along with the other knowledge we shall be bringing in our future videos for you so friends keep watching our videos and do like and subscribe thank you